Congress was born. And that's true because the before prior to 1947, it was the Army Air Corps. And look what we have on takeoff here. The four engine Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. Listen to the sound of four 1,200 horsepower Wright 1820 engines on the B-17. At the height of the war, B-17 flew more than 25 airfields out of uh, southern England, but proven. Look at this pass. Each B-17 holds 10 proven. More than 47,000 U.S. 8th Air Force crew members died in those daylight raids over Germany. Just think of this, that during D-Day it was terrible. 13,000 airplanes were involved in the D-Day invasion of Normandy, June 6, 1944. Before the troops left, Dwight David Eisenhower, the commander of the Allied forces there, had this to say. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the great mistake towards which we have driven. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. That was the speech given by General Eisenhower moments before the D-Day invasion began. B-17, like I said, four 1,200 horsepower engines out there, ceiling above 35,000 feet, and 13 50 caliber machine guns to protect it. We talked earlier about the Tuskegee Airmen and their protection of the 8th Air Force. Many, many times the uh, pilots of the 8th Air Force bombers would specifically ask for the Red Tails to escort them. Underneath the B-17, you can see the two cars racing out there. The Ferrari, the Lamborghini, all the doors open. Provide you, once again, if you'd like to drive one of those cars, Ralph Royce, our air boss, we raced this morning in those cars. I backed off at 165 miles an hour. $149.95 if you'd like to drive one of those cars. They got a safety driver with you, and I'll tell you, it is indeed an experience. And they're all the way down to the end of the flight line, down there into the sunshades where the Tora group are down there. So if you'd like to see. <laughs> Last pass by our B-17, and that B-17, ladies and gentlemen, Texas Raiders, owned by Jed Doggett, Ed Vesley, and Eric Aldrich, built under license by Douglas Aircraft at the long...